Hi everyone, it's the season for the great outdoors. And is there anything better than grilling and chilling? I don't think so. But trying to barbecue on a dirty grill makes grilling and chilling not very fun. <laughs> so on today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean your grill to make it look brand spanking new. And I'm going to give you a few cleaning tips to make this really easy. All right, guys, you can see this grill is very dirty. I get a lot of flare ups when I cook with it, so it's time to clean the grill. It's really nasty. And we're gonna clean it up good. We're gonna shine this up to be brand looking new. And I'll show you all my tips and tricks. And it'll take about maybe, maybe half an hour to clean this up maybe. It's pretty filthy though. Inside here as well. Down here is a lot of stuff, so. All right guys, let's get to it. You know, we're gonna use also water. I'm gonna scrub it, maybe a little bit of soap, but also we're gonna use WD-40 and paper towels to shine it back up. And you make sure you have a trash can nearby. You wanna put all your bits of debris in your trash can. All right, let's get started. All right. First things first, let's get this thing broken down. All right guys, the first thing I recommend is wear some gloves because you're gonna get dirty. And you wanna clean the grill in an area like in the grass or the dirt. You don't want to dirty up your driveway or your patio. So now remove all the grates off the top of the grill and then remove the grill heat shields. And all the parts that we remove, we're gonna scrub them later, get them real clean. So guys, when's the best time to clean your barbecue grill? Usually at the end of the season or at the beginning of the season. However, if you grill once or twice a week, you might need to clean it once every two months. And this Dynaglow grill has a smoker box. And we're gonna clean that too. And a sure sign that your grill needs to be cleaned is that you're getting a lot of flare ups. So when that happens, clean the grill. And of course, don't forget the grease tray. This is super dirty. Look at that mess, yuck. So after I clean this, I'll show you a tip so that you'll never have to clean this again. And make sure to use that trash can. Dump all the bits and debris in there. So guys, here's my first tip when cleaning your grill. Never ever throw out an old brush. Always save it for deep cleaning your grill. You wanna save your good brush for only cleaning the grates when you're barbecuing. The old brush will work great for cleaning all these parts. In that old grill scraper, make short work of the grease tray. And this is the grease trap that goes under the grease tray. All the grease funnels down into this. And this is nasty and stinks. So I'll go ahead and clean this, and then I'll show you a cool trick that will make cleaning this again real easy. And all you'll need is some aluminum foil. So simply use paper towels to wipe out the grease trap. We're gonna line this grease trap with foil later. And we'll line the grease tray as well. So now we'll give all our parts a good washing. And after you've washed them down pretty good, all that water will loosen all the bits. So now, scrape it off again. Scrape this good. Smoker box. Well best you can. So now it's time to clean the heat shields. And the heat shields weren't too dirty. The water from the hose cleaned it off pretty good. Okay, now it's time for the three grates. We'll scrub each one really well and then rinse it off with the water. So what do you think is the most popular barbecue food in the US? And it's not what you think. It's not even a meat or even a vegetable. That's right, it's watermelon. 
And to be honest, I've never grilled watermelon. <laughs> So FYI, you don't have to get these grates perfectly clean. Just do the best you can. And after we're all done, you can fire up the grill for about 10 minutes on 500 to burn up the rest of the debris. I'd say I cleaned off about 80% of the debris. Not bad. I'll let the grill do the rest of the work while I'm sipping a beer. So the grease trap here fits into the grease tray like this. And remember, we're gonna line both the tray and the grease trap with foil. One mistake I did make was not cleaning the inside of this, so it's all gonna go on this tray. So I'm gonna clean this all out really well, and then I'll have to re-clean this bottom one. So don't make the mistake I made, and uh, you know, also my things as well. Alright, now it's time to clean this out real good. I got the gunk here and the gunk over here into this tray. I'll rinse this back out again. And then I'm going to line this with some foil. So next time we cook, it'll be easy to clean. Should have done this from the first get, for the get go, but you live and you learn. So once again, we'll use that old brush and we'll clean the inside of the grill really well. You can see right here, we lined that tray of foil in the drip pan too. Now it's time to wash down the grill. We put a little bit of soap on top of the grill and start spraying. We're gonna wash down the grill really well and get all the bits and grime off of it. So guys, when you're grilling, do you prefer charcoal or gas? In an online poll, 73% preferred charcoal over gas. Charcoal seems to give a flavor of wood chips, while gas grills give more of a bacon-like taste. And I do like bacon, so I guess I like gas grills better. All right, now we have all the heat shields in. And now we'll attach the smoker box. So remember that. There you go. I almost forgot how, how it went there. It's in first, then these two go on top. You go and you can put your stuff in here. And we'll probably do some smoking this weekend, the holiday. All right. Now we'll attach all three grates. And these simply fall into place. It's pretty easy. aren't perfectly clean, but I'm just going to turn this on later, crank up the heat, and it'll burn everything off and get it nice and clean. I can scrape it again if I want, but it's way better than what it was. Way better. And you're probably looking at this going, this is gross, but we're going to shine this up. It's going to look perfect though. I'll show you how we're going to do it. Alright guys, the miracle of WD-40. Just spray a little bit on an area and start wiping with a paper towel. It cleans really, really well and leaves a great shine. And FYI, you can use WD-40 on metal patio furniture as well to clean and shine it back up. Well guys, we're about done here. I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. So guys, we're all done and it's time for grilling and chilling. And this grill looks brand new. And guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. All right, we're all done here. Look, guys, it's perfect. It looks great. The grates are, are not perfect. Obviously, they're still a little dirty, but I'm going to crank this to 500 degrees, and that will do is I'll cover this 
and then it will just cook the rest of it off. I can come back and scrape a little bit more if I need to, but right now it looks great. Um, you can see there's nothing here. There's no dirt or grime. The WD-40 took everything off. It's shined up like it's brand new. Everything looks good. Looks good in here. All the grates look very good and clean. There'll be no flare-ups. Like I said, remember, put the foil on the drip pan below. And even underneath that little small drip pan, put foil and all that. That way it's easy to clean. I wish I did that when I first bought this grill. So if you buy a new grill, that's what you should do to avoid all of these, you know, the heavy cleaning. It's a kind of a pain. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you love it, you know what to do. Hit subscribe. It's free. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it.